Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation involving factorial from here? We have x plus 6 into bracket factorial over x plus 2 into bracket factorial is equal to 1680 here. We can write x plus 6 factorial as x plus 6 multiplied by x plus 5. Then multiply by x plus 4. Then multiply by x plus 3. Then multiply by x plus 2 factorial. Then divided by x plus 2 factorial, which is then equal to 1680 from here. Then we have x plus 2 factorial cancel out here and uh, we have x plus 6 times x plus 5 then multiply by x plus 4 then times x plus 3 left here which is equal to 1680 then from here Let's take x plus 6 and x plus 3 together. So we have into bracket x plus 6 multiplied by x plus 3. When we group this together, we close the bracket here. Also group x plus 5 and x plus 4 together. We have into bracket x plus 5 then times x plus 4. We close bracket which is equal to 1680 then from here we can open this bracket here x we multiply first we have x square then plus here we have x times 3 that's 3x then 6 we open next that's plus 6x then plus 6 times 3 that's 18 then the second bracket as well, we expand here, we have x square plus 4x plus 5x plus 20 here, which is equal to 1680. Then from here, we can write this and sum this together, and we have x square plus 9x plus 18. Yeah, then here we have x square plus 9x plus 20 on this side which is equal to 1680 from here then here we can write this bracket as x square plus 9x plus 19 minus 1 as 19 minus 1 same thing as 18 and here we can write this as x square plus 9x plus 19 plus 1 as 19 plus 1 will be 20 here which is equal to 1680 then from here we have x square plus 9x plus 19 common so let's use a letter to represent that and we have let u be equal to x square plus 9x plus 19 and we can rewrite this x u minus 1 then bracket multiply by u plus 1 will now be equal to 1680 from here then what we have here follows difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square and which is equal to a plus b multiply by a minus b so simply we can write this as u square minus 1 square and 1 square is t1 which is equal to 1680 from here then let's take one to that side it becomes plus so we have 1680 plus 1 so u square will then be equal to 1681 then take the square root on both sides from here. The square cancel square root here. We have u now equals to plus or minus 41. I recall 
that uh, we have u as f square plus 9x plus 19. So we have the two cases here. We have u now, which is a uh, x square plus 9x plus 19 now is equal to 41 when it is positive. And when it is negative, we have x square plus 9x plus 19 equals to minus 41 so here when we take everything to one side we have x square plus 9x plus 19 minus 41 equals to 0 here then we have x square plus 9x plus 19 plus 41 equals to 0 here so here we have x square plus 9x minus 22 from here equals to 0 then here we have x square plus 9x plus here we have 60 here equals to 0 now let's see if you know one of these will give us a re and the other we also give us so we can check using the discriminant we use discriminant we have discriminant here equals to b square minus 4ac on this side b is 9 so we have 9 square minus 4a is 1 then c is minus 22 and 9 square here is 81 then minus times minus is plus that's 88 of course this is greater than the sum of this will be greater than 0 Therefore, we have a resolution on this side. Then, on this side, we have discriminant equals to b square minus 4ac as well. b is 9 square minus 4a is 1. Then, c 60. Then, that's 81 minus <coughs> sorry, please, 240 from here. Then, here we get a result less than 0 here. That means here we have no resolution here. What will be here is a complex one. Now we are interested in resolution here. Then we work with this side, which is x square plus 9x minus 22, which is equal to 0. Here we can factor this. Two number we multiply that will give us minus 22. And when we have, we have plus 9x. That should be plus 11x, then minus 2x. Then we combine this as x squared, then minus 22 equals to 0. When we group this together to 2, we have x common here. And this left with x plus 11 here. Then minus 2 common here, we have x plus 11 also left, which is equal to 0. Now x plus 11 common, we factor it out, then x minus 2 left, which is equal to 0. And from here, is it that we have x plus 11 equals to 0, or we have x minus 2 equals to 0. From here, x equals to minus 11, and on this side, x equals to 2. Now, from what we are given, we have from the problem x plus 6 factorial divided by x plus 2 factorial is equals to 1680. Then from here, we have, when we look at the denominator, it should be greater than or equal to 0, that is, x plus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0 from here. Then when we take 2 to that side, that means x should be greater than or equal to minus 2. Now, that's to say that this x that is minus 11, of course, is less than minus 2. So here, this will not satisfy the given problem. Then x minus 2 is the one we should, you know, check now if it satisfies. Then when we put 2 here, that's 2 plus 6, that's 8 factorial over 2 plus 2 that's 4 factorial with this be equals to 1680 from here then 8 factorial is 8 times let's use this 8 times 
7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial. Here 4 factorial cancel 4 factorial. Is this equal to 1680? And when we multiply 8 times 6, we have 56 times 5 times 6, 30. Is this equal to 1680 from here? Then when we multiply this, of course, this will give us 1680 as well, which is equal to 1680. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then we can conclude that the value of x in this given problem is x equals to 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give a comment. And uh, thank you. See you next class. And bye for now.